Hey there, everybody. You've been asking for more spear fishing shows? Well, here you go. Respect Outdoors, presented by Steiner Binoculars. Nothing escapes these eyes. Also brought to you by Burris Optics. See the light. Set lock. Get close. Go undetected. Also brought to you by Big Lake Lodge. Come fish in our backyard. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Respect Outdoors. I'm your host, Robert Arrington, and this week we find ourselves in the beautiful Bahamas at Staniel Key Yacht Club. Ever since I was a little kid, I have been in love with the outdoors. Well, seeing as you can't hunt year-round, spearfishing was the next best thing. You know, anything that requires physical effort, climbing a mountain, putting up a tree stand, drawing my bow, making a long-range shot with my rifle, or holding my breath and diving to extreme depths looking for one specific fish. It's a love of mine. It's a passion of mine and I can't get enough. Well, this week we find ourselves down at Staniel Key Yacht Club in the Exumas, which is a southern region of the Bahamas. The water is crystal clear and it's where some of the best memories I've ever made in my whole life are from. The relentless pursuit of a fish or an animal. It's in my blood and I love it. Archery hunting, going out into the woods, you've got your sights set on a specific animal, whether that be a big buck, possibly a call buck, or maybe you're doing some doe management. But you are on the hunt for a specific animal. Contrary to that, you have spear fishing. It's the exact same mentality. I'm after a specific fish. Maybe it's a big grouper. Maybe it's a snapper. Nice button snapper. Maybe it's a hogfish, but it's a specific fish, and I'm in its element using a Hawaiian sling or even a spear gun trying to apprehend it. We have certain issues that are exactly the same in both of them. Take archery hunting, for example. When I archery hunt, the key is knowing where I'm at, knowing where the animals are, where I expect them to go, and how to get in between them. Well, spearfishing is the exact same thing. You've got tides, and those fish may be in one place during a certain tide and transition to a completely different area during a separate tide. It's my job to get in between them, stay calm, hold my breath, and get close enough to make a killer shot. As most of you know, the Burris Eliminator Laser Scope is the most advanced rifle scope on the market today. But did you know that it's also the best possible muzzle loader and slug gun scope as well? Simple and easy to mount and quickly calibrated in just minutes. You can easily extend the effective range of your muzzleloader or slug gun out to 300 yards. Just range them and eliminate them. Top your slug gun or muzzleloader with the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope and you'll become a better and more efficient hunter. Baby, 
Nice hog snapper. Since I was very young, one of my most notable traits has been free diving, Hawaiian slinging, spear fishing. People always say, how do you go so deep? The number one issue when it comes to free diving and spear fishing, calm down. You've just got to give a little hoops up. You know what I mean? You want to stop kicking so fast. You want to take some very nice, slow, deep breaths. You want to lay yourself out as aerodynamically as possible. Go down using as, as little leg movement as possible. And when you get down, you want to relax. As you get to the bottom, you want to just roll out. I'll lay on the bottom, focusing on what my mission is. Trying to line up the lobster, trying to line up that fish. Holding the sling in my hand properly, and you're going to draw it back. And the way I draw it is very instinctive, just like I'm bow hunting. When you get done shooting, you can either grab the fish or grab the lobster if you've got enough air, or head to the surface, get another good fresh set of breaths, head back down and grab your fish. And you know what? You're done. Put them in the boat and repeat process. as hard as free diving and spear fishing is free diving and filming. You've got to hold the camera incredibly still and you've got to be able to free dive incredibly well. Well David Hawker, not only does he own Staniel Key Yacht Club, he's an amazing free diver and I would have never been able to get these shots if it were not for him. From me to you, thanks a lot, Dave. groceries. All we're doing, just run along looking for grass patches, finding little coral heads, jumping in, getting one or two lobster off of each head what it's all about. We're in the Bahamas, having a good time, doing a little snorkeling, doing a little sightseeing, but more importantly, we're just having a good time. Thanks for watching. Nothing like a great day on the water. We went out, speared a nice grouper, caught a couple lobsters, and caught a couple conks. We're going to fillet them up, clean the lobsters, we're going to be inside cooking at night. Here's your boneless, skinless piece of uh, fresh Bahamian grouper. I like to cut it right down the center here, back to about right here. Now I'm gonna lightly salt and pepper them. Now I'm gonna start off by dusting them in the flour, rolling them in egg wash, and then rolling them in the panko breadcrumbs and the chopped up walnuts. Once I'm done coating all these fish in the walnut and panko breadcrumbs, I'll take a very hot saute pan coated with just a little bit of butter and olive oil and saute them. Nothing like the Bahamas. You have a great time here. You know what? I love it. We're gonna go out and enjoy it with some friends. 
but that's what fishing is all about. You go out and take just enough that you need, come back, fillet it up, cook it, and enjoy it. That's why it's there. You know there are a hundred ways to spook trophy bucks, but your owner doesn't have to be one of them. Scentlock Gear has been helping hunters like you beat the noses of mature bucks with cutting edge scent controlling gear. And now you can experience the ultimate in first layer performance with the new Base Layer series. Base Layers feature dual action scent control that virtually eliminates your odor. And when the pressure begins to mount, a moisture wicking treatment kicks in that helps keep you dry. All this technology is wrapped in the mother load of high performance fabrics that maintain your comfort, mobility, and focus at the moment of truth. Scentlock. Taste victory. You know, I've had so much fun spearfishing down here in Exuma, but let me show you some of the other things we do. If you look right behind me on this flat over here, we've got several humongous giant stingrays. And they're, from what he says, a, a indigenous species of, of stingray to this area. He's only ever seen them right here. And he says they're the biggest he's ever seen. Well, you know what? I've got my underwater video camera. I'm about to throw on my mask and fins and go show you what those humongous stingrays look like. Wow, absolutely unbelievable. They let me get so close to them. We've got a grass flat right here. We've got a big sandbar back to the west. And they're just out there hanging out. They're laying on the bottom. Several of them have remoras on their backs. Some of them have remoras right under their tails. But the water is, it's so amazingly crystal clear. And, and to be out here with good friends and just seeing the sights, they say they're about to take me to a place where they're swimming pigs. We've seen stingrays, we've got to spear a grouper and catch some lobster and catch conch and eat amazing food. This is Daniel Key Yacht Club. It's a very simple flight to get here. Hop on Watermaker's Air right in Fort Lauderdale. Hour and 45 minutes later, you're gonna be sitting in the Exuma Keys, staying in a beautiful cottage, experiencing life the way it should be experienced. Relax, kick back, cold colic, some great food. Great friends and family. It's what a real adventure is all about. Going back. Next stop on today's tour is Compass Key. This is an amazing little spot. It's a dock with thousands of bonefish and all types of sharks swimming around it. They live here. This is like their home. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up, tie the boat up, and I'm gonna to try to get in the water and hand feed some of these sharks and check out some of these bonefish. And as always, you're gonna see it from underneath the water. <laughs> Only at Compass Key can you lay on the dock and hand feed hundreds of nur sharks, thousands of mangrove snapper, and a massive ball of bonefish. To my surprise, the bonefish's favorite food to eat? Bread. That's right, a loaf of bread, a couple of slices, you're dipping it in the water, and you are hand feeding wild bonefish. The ghost of the flat. The silver bullet. Right, go to Compass Key and call them that. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed all the sharks and the, the snapper and the bonefish here at Compass Key. Next, it's swimming pigs. Your guess is as good as mine. This is a real adventure. Thanks for watching.
Now, as soon as we left Compass Key, which was a great time, we headed just a little ways to the south to a little island that's host to the swimming pigs. The swimming pigs, they're not really swimming to go swimming, they're swimming to get fed. They're big old white hogs and they were put there by the Bahamians. Well, now that the tourists know about them and the pigs know about Pringles, when you pull up, they're coming to the boat and the first one who gets there, gets the food first. It's pretty much supply and demand. They demand it as long as you got a supply. When the supply runs out, they leave. Hi there and welcome to Big Lake Lodge. Right here in Okeechobee, Florida, this park has been owned and operated by my mom and dad, Walt and Betty Arrington, for the past 15 years. Come and enjoy it, it's southern hospitality. We've got 500 feet of seawall, 13 docks, and a beautiful boat ramp. It's clean, it's safe, and it's convenient. Whether you're trying to get away from the cold or just get away from the stress, come visit Big Lake Lodge. Fish in our backyard. Well, when we left the swimming pigs, we headed to Thunderball Cave. And because I'm not Mr. James Bond 007 Thunderball expert, David Hawker gave me the full update. Uh, he's, he's been here as long as anyone can remember. A few movies have been shot here. Thunderball uh, with James Bond is the one it's named after, but Never Say Never Again, Splash, uh, Into the Blue, a few others. Um, it's just a great snorkeling spot. Some low light sponges, some great fish. I just can't wait to get in. If you will excuse me, just can't help myself. I'm acting like an animal. Now here's my scanner. As soon as you enter the cave that just lights up emerald blue, there's a gentle current that runs through to keep the disturbed water nice and clear. And you see for yourself, folks, this place is amazing. We spent probably about 35, 40, maybe even an hour there. And then we swam out the other side, snorkeled around the, snorkeled around the back side of Thunderball Cave and jumped into the boat. I get to see some pretty cool stuff. That would be considered very cool. It's incredible. It's Thunderball Cave. No wonder they make so many movies here. Welcome to Danger Reef. We're here on the Crystal Clear Explorer with Stan Key Divers. And this is the famous Danger Reef. It's about a 50 to 70 foot dive. Loads, a plethora of native corals, sea sponges, and sharks. That's why they call it Danger Reef. What we're gonna do is we're gonna suit up, put on a couple tanks. I'm gonna go down and show you what lies beneath the surface of the water. This is Danger Reef and you're watching Real Adventures. Thanks so much.
Have you ever just sat back and watched the sunrise and imagine how beautiful this world is? I do all the time. And this fall, I traveled all over the country. We drove over 8,350 miles filming hunting shows and it was beyond my wildest imaginations, all the beautiful things we got to see. Now, here we are down in the beautiful Bahamas and it's just amazing what beautiful world we live in. Whether it's the Rocky Mountains or the coral reefs of the Caribbean Sea, this world is absolutely beautiful and I urge all of you to get out there and see it and make a memory because your memories are all you have in life, folks. All I can tell you is that diving does not get any better than that. I've dove all over the world, I've seen all kinds of things, and it does not get any better than that. And I can tell you what, Danger Reef, it's not very dangerous, but it is very beautiful. Hey there everybody, I wanna thank you all so very much for having me into your home this week. Respect Outdoors isn't what I do, it's who I am. And I appreciate you all for watching. If you would, go to my Facebook fan page right now. It's facebook.com forward slash Respect Outdoors TV. I'll be there live. I want to chat with you guys and find out what you like. What do you like about the show? What do you not like about the show? Do you want to see more hunting? Do you want to see more fishing? How do you like the spear fishing? Without you guys, I'm just a guy talking to a camera. And without you guys, I don't have a show. So I thank you all as friends. I thank you as fans. If I don't see you on Facebook, I'll see you again next week right here the exact same place and the exact same time. Take care and God bless.